Hi guys, I am Tish. Welcome back to my page, Kingdom Beauty, where I discuss Bible stories, life stories. I interpret my own dreams and I do occasional wig reviews. This particular video is going to be a life story. Why I decided to pull myself away and my presence away from social media. We gonna get all into that. I was bleeding out on it. I was seeing things that was triggers for me, wasn't okay, pulled back. We're gonna get into it. <music> decided to kind of uh i guess secretly step away um from social media just pull my presence back you know i'm not one of those people that announce that i am leaving i just kind of leave right i am going through a season of my life right now where i'm trying to process the feeling of rejection because you know i equate rejection to not being cared about and i feel rejected because i don't feel a lot of support and i'm being careful with saying feel support because it, it could be possible that it's not that i'm not being supported i just don't feel it it's a difference between actually not being supported and then just not feeling the support i'm trying to process that all right now What makes me feel how I feel? Social media, um, particularly YouTube and Instagram, because that's where I post content. I am a content creator, right? I'm also a Christian who is growing in her faith. And I just feel like when I put out things that's from my content or from my Christian walk, it gets overlooked. I don't feel so I'm going to put up some reels that perfectly explains, I was explaining how I feel. That's why sometimes I be feeling alone in this new season that I'm in where my desire for God and his word is growing. And when my knowledge of him and his word is growing, I, I be feeling alone because I feel like I don't see it. I don't see, I don't feel supported really and it makes sense when people who are not Christians and they're not believers, churchy or whatever, they kind of bypass things that I do. It makes sense. But when I see people of the same faith, just kind of like bypassing it. And I'm just like, how? Like, I'm talking about the God you love, too. It, and the fact that I am learning and growing in him doesn't move you to support. But I do recognize that. Everyone is not in the same season and every message isn't going to hit, right? So I understand that. I'm wrestling between not placing any obligations on anyone and not being entitled to anything while at the same time understanding that I'm human and sometimes as humans, we need to feel celebrated, affirmed, encouraged, and supported. And so that's just where I'm at, but I just kind of wanted to share to share all that and so in my isolated season that's me and god we're gonna be tackling that so pretty much that says it all that's where i'm at right now the last instagram post that i made was maybe like a week ago maybe like seven days ago at this point this is what i put up this was the moment i decided that yeah i need to step away the story views are triggering me <laughs> because in the story views you can see how many people looked at your stories and exactly who looked at your stories and it was doing something to me when i would see when i can see specifically who was just overlooking my stuff and it'd be hurtful sometimes and i'm just like i don't want to be focusing on that because then it it can it's a high possibility it could cause me to start feeling things towards people that I don't need to feel another trigger was seeing these same people support others I guess the third trigger was just a lack of engagement these things are triggers to me because I analyze that as not being paid attention to 
And so I'm like, if you're not paying attention to me, you're bypassing, you're ignoring, you're just swiping past or scrolling past. To me, it means you don't care because I equate that to you not caring about someone if you don't care to pay attention to them or what they're doing. My humanly, fleshly, natural response was to just remove myself. I'm like, okay, y'all don't care about what I have to say. I'm going to stop talking. What I'm not saying is that people's actions or lack of caused me to just kind of stop doing what I was called to do. And it, it kind of made me shut up and stuff. I'm not letting other people's actions stop me from what I'm called to do. So that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is I am kind of falling back a bit and I'm reassessing who I do need to be talking to. I don't really use Facebook like that anyway, but what I did was deactivated my account and then I deleted the app. On Instagram, I just simply stopped posting, right? I stopped posting, I stopped checking DMs, and I stopped scrolling. Like the only posts that I really watch are story posts, and I don't look at everyone's story posts now. In this particular season where I'm just kind of falling back, I am only looking at specific accounts. If it's not my pastor, my church, or public figures that I admire and that I get edified from, like Jackie Hill Perry, Preston Perry, Tim Ross, Megan Ashley, Brenda Palmer, Jada Walker, Philip Mitchell, if it isn't them, I'm not looking at the stories because I'm really just kind of removing myself from social media. It's like what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 14. If any household or town refuses to welcome you or listen to your message, shake its dust from your feet as you leave. I feel like my followers was just like, they wasn't listening to what I had to say. And they just, they just didn't care to pay attention. And so I'm like, this is me shaking the dust off my feet and leaving. So now when I post, <laughs> now when I post, I'm just going to post directly to my news feed and not to my stories for two reasons. One, when we post to the news feed, the focus is on the non-followers. So the algorithm tries to push it to your non-followers when you post it directly to the news feed. Whereas if I post it and then share it to my stories, that's for my followers to see me. It might just be temporary as I heal because part of me is also doing that out of hurt and pettiness, I guess. Then the other reason is to kind of protect myself from being triggered by story views, seeing who looked at what I posted, and then the fact that they didn't engage or whatever. And when I'm posting stuff directly in my newsfeed, I can't see who viewed it there, but in the stories, sure. So that's another reason why I'm just like, I'm gonna be more strategic with where I post. So the thing about engagement is, I'm not looking to be like platformed or whatever. I'm not trying to become a public figure. I'm a whole introvert. I would rather not, right? <laughs> I would rather not. And honestly, we don't talk enough about how much freedom there is in not being known. There's so much freedom we have. There's so many things that we can do <laughs> without being criticized every single second, the way people who are platformed us. There is a huge, huge freedom that I am enjoying in not being known like that. So it's not even about being platformed, but engagement shows me who is being impacted by my stuff. I cannot know that you are being impacted if you do not comment, if you do not like, if you do not share, if you do not send me a DM saying what the video meant for you or whatever, like it literally, you understand what I'm saying? Like it just, I don't know if you don't engage. I do recognize that people are not going to have the same interests as you. So if they don't have the same interests as you, then they, they are not really going to maybe feel inclined to want to engage. And I get that. I get that. 
right? While that's true, when you care about someone, you care about the things they care about, even if it isn't your particular interest, right? That's why when parents have kids who are into sports and they have sports games after school, the parent might not like sports or follow sports, but they show up in support of their child. And so I felt, keyword, I felt that I kind of wasn't getting much of that. And it was a little hurtful. What I also find is that some things that seem like it's support is not really because some people may say well I, I I did like your stuff you know I did give it a like or something I'm like yeah but did you actually pay attention or did you just like it just to say that you liked it did you actually listen to the video did you listen to the video in full did you hear what I was saying did it do anything for you like support is actually paying attention not just giving a blind like like or a blind comment off of two seconds that you skim through so yeah i'm just trying to process it i'm not entitled to anyone's support of me and what i do right no one owes me anything but at the same time i'm like i'm human and i want to feel you know, celebrated, affirmed, and even helped. Like sometimes it's like, I'm looking for you to give me healthy, you know, respectful critique. When I found that I was starting to express myself about certain things on social media too much, I was like, okay, I don't want to start bleeding on Instagram. <laughs> I don't want to start bleeding on Instagram. This is not the place to be bleeding out on if I'm bleeding out that means I need to be healed if something is bothering me I need to be healed and I need God to heal me in privacy because trying to be healed while still engaging with the thing that that is picking at the wound in the first place doesn't make sense and the sad part is that me feeling how I feel it it really really low key made me not care to talk to anybody and i know that's not the best place to be in because then i can start shutting out people that don't need to or deserve to be shut out and i feel like i've been kind of doing that like i haven't been active in any of the group chats that i'm in i just don't have the energy or desire to talk and that's not good because like i said earlier um i don't want to start projecting things onto people whose fault none of this may be i don't want to just i don't want to start like mistreating people i would rather god work on me no matter how long it takes no matter how long it takes so now what i will say is that i am so grateful for what god has called me to do and People's lack of support doesn't ever for a minute make me doubt the impact of the things that I say. I know the things that I say and put out are powerful and impactful, regardless if people acknowledge it or not. Why? Because God gave it to me. So what is my solution to all of this? Stay away from social media for a while. You know, withdraw my presence a little bit. Pray to God, spend more time with him, be in isolation. Just be praying for God to send me the community that I need. So if this video resonates with anyone, I pray you will see quiet time with the Father just like I am and that you'll get better just as I know I'll get better and you'll get better too. This video is quite a couple minutes. It's 26 minutes, but I am going to try to narrow it down to at least 15. Thank you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.